from a station working for you. This is a WRTV update. I'm Mark Mullins bringing you the latest WRTV headlines. Metro police say a seven year old is dead after being hit by a car on the east side of Indianapolis. It happened around four o'clock at East Washington Street and North Ritter Avenue near George W. Julian School. IMPD says three people were hit. The seven year old, a crossing guard and another adult. The adults are in critical condition. Police have not released any information about the crash or what led up to it. We'll keep you updated as investigators release new information. Sentencing is scheduled Wednesday for an Indiana woman convicted of killing her 10 year old stepdaughter. Last month, a Grant County jury found Amanda Carmack guilty of several charges, including murder and strangulation. State police found Skylie Carmack's body in a shed behind her home several days after she was reported missing. The jury recommended a sentence of life in prison without parole for Amanda Carmack. Indigo is looking for new drivers to come on board as the transit system works to rebound from the pandemic and eventually expand. Indigo says they need to hire 10 to 15 people a month to avoid making changes to its current routes and to prepare for the blue and purple lines. Applicants must be 21 years old and have a CDL, a commercial driver's license. Pay starts at $20 an hour. Indigo offers benefits, guarantees a 40 hour work week and offers retirement plans. Isolated strong to severe storms into the early morning hours with some localized flooding and gusty winds from these storms that are marking the transition to our cooler day Wednesday with a high of 80. Doesn't last long. Look at the warm up temperatures by the time we get to the weekend back in the middle to upper 80s. Rain chances after the morning hours much lower. Mark. Kevin, thank you. And for more news and weather anytime, just download the WRTV mobile app.